Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, where a pair of sovereign citizens have, uh, well, been pulled over and, uh, Pull all that right to travel nonsense that these Sovtards like to pull, but it doesn't really work out for them in this occasion. And they end up getting some traffic tickets. And they even go to the uh, police department afterwards and try to file some complaints and even try to speak to a lawyer on that. But more on that later on in the video. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Remember 415? Okay, what is the reason for the stop? You can see me. What's the reason for the stop? You can see me. I cannot see. Yes, you can. No, I cannot. What's the reason for the stop? I can't see anything. You can see my hands. What's going on, man? Everything good? Name and badge number? Name and badge number? All right. Badge number, though? 455. Okay. Go on the sidewalk. For what? What law? I'm in the middle of the street. You can record, but go on the sidewalk. I'll go over here. I'll go over here. Don't interfere with this. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I can't. I can't. I can't get in trouble for that. I'm recording. This is my right. <laughs> oh, by the way, the person behind this particular camera is of the YouTube channel Justin Phase, and he just also happens to be a frauditor as well, as you can tell from the way he acts in this video. He does have a number of other. Uh, auditing videos on his channel but I didn't know about him until just today and believe me when I say this this guy is uh, the cream of the crop of stupidity right here so well we got another one on our hands boys I'm not I'm not involved in anything what's 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 the problem here what my tents are illegal are yeah, I've been pulled over multiple times. My tents have never been illegal. Congratulations, your tents are illegal. Okay. Your car is not inspected. Yes, it is. Do it's, you know what day it is? Yes. What's today? There's one there, and then there's another one. And what did they say? It was approved on the, on one part. The other one isn't. What did they say? What do you mean? They're expired. One isn't. The other one isn't. I already got pulled over for that. Did you call off? Do you have your driver's license insurance? I don't need to provide that. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. I'm not driving commercially, so I don't need to provide that. Oh, oh, so you don't drive in commerce, therefore you're not required to have a driver's license? Well, uh, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but even in Pennsylvania, they do uh, recognize the difference between commercial and non-commercial driver's licenses, and here they are according to uh, the Pennsylvania websites that I look on. And uh, then there's the uh, question of being able to present a driver's license to an officer and according to Pennsylvania law you are supposed to have one on you at all times to be able to present to the officers at a traffic stop so what's your pathetic little excuse now she's not driving commercially she doesn't need it if she, what's your I, 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 this is my girl <laughs> what is, if she what is if she but what's your what's your RA what's your what's your RAS that she's driving commercially? What's your RAS? You know that's a bit of a loaded question right there, dude. So allow me to correct the question. What is the reasonable, articulable suspicion that she has committed a crime or is about to commit a crime? That's what you're supposed to say. And in this particular case, it's that she has no registration or anything like that on her car. Uh, so that would be the A R A S right there, you doofus. What's your R A S? Come on, bro. What you doing? This is all. This is on the record, sir. What's your name and badge number over here too? What's your name and badge number? I, I'm, her, I'm her. I'm her husband. I'm her husband. Sir, well, I told you this already. Okay. You cannot get involved in this. I'm not okay, but I have the right to speak. Right that, you're right. You keep you're be I can't. I can't be though. So sit there. Because okay? <laughs> you want to harass her, right? Oh, we got more tyrants over here. Oh yeah. Oh, this is cool. I like this. <laughs> 
I like this. I like this. Name it badge number. I need your driver's license insurance. I don't need to provide any of that. Yes, you do. No, I don't. 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 Why do you say that? Because I don't need to. That's, not a That's why. That's not a I don't need yes, to. You do. No, I don't. What is your reasonable, articulable suspicion that I committed a crime? Why are you pulling me over? What's the reason for the stop? Please. What's the, what's your reasonable, articulable suspicion that I committed a crime? Do you have your, do you have your license I don't need to provide that. Do you have your ID? I don't need to provide okay, any of that. Okay, we're gonna get a license. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. And you can't arrest me if you have no jurisdiction. Hey, first of all, uh, I can't believe that these two actually got together and created that child in the back seat because uh, that's going to be one messed up child right there. And second of all, uh, you are in their jurisdiction. Uh, you are in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, and you have stated on other videos that you do live in Bethlehem. And therefore, you are in their jurisdiction, you moron. Then there is the third point. A lot of what you're talking about a lot of your arguments are nothing but a bunch of circular arguments to begin with. You go back and forth like this over and over again. So I'm just going to be cutting out a lot of that for time. And, uh, well, so let's just go ahead and skip to the next part where you're being, uh, well, a little bit more creative. If there are any other creative parts of your uh, illogical reasoning. I'm waiting for someone to tell me what's the reason for the stop. I'm waiting for someone to tell me what's the reason for the stop. Because you told you already, but you don't believe in our when local telling you. So how is it illegal tint? When you have, you have, I got, tint, you have no registration on the vehicle. I have. What do you mean? I have no registration on the vehicle. I didn't. I didn't. I have whatever I have. I don't have to provide. I don't have to provide that to you. I understand that. We're gonna have to surprise. That's fine. Please do. A little longer than a few minutes later. Yeah, that's all you need to know. Yes, I'm not giving. I'm not giving you anything other than that. I don't need to. Now, where's the sergeant? Okay, so what's going on? Okay, so can you get him? Okay, so I don't need to speak to you then. All right, so can you go over there then? What? What? What is he looking for? I don't know. They're trying to, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> bro, you a weirdo. Bro. Why are you taking a picture of me? Why are you taking a picture of me? Do you see this harassment? Well, your uh, your frauded her boyfriend does that kind of uh, thing to all the people that he encounters in government buildings and private establishments. So consider that a bit of karma if you're offended by an officer taking your picture because I assume that a lot of people that your frauded her husband encounters are quite disturbed by that too. I'm gonna go to the police station and file a complaint. You're freaking weird. You're f weird. Taking pictures of me. I don't want pictures in your fucking phone. What type of shit? Now they're trying to put it together. Oh, wow. She got triggered over a camera. Just imagine. Yeah, like I said before, just imagine how the victims of your uh, frauded her husband over there feel when they get a camera shoved in their face. You think so? That's not me, just so you know. No, but you're a loser. You're a bitch. You're a bitch. Now they do go to the uh, police department to try to file uh, complaints, but you know what? It really doesn't go anywhere with them. But they do try to contact a lawyer and uh, here's what the lawyer had to say. Hey Justin, how are you? Hey, hey, it's, I'm, I'm pretty good. I'm actually at the police station right now filing uh, uh, a complaint on all the officers involved in, in the traffic stop that I actually called you about. Um, can I get back to you in a couple minutes? Yeah. Okay, thank you so much, man. Are you just gonna, like, if once you do that, that officer is gonna like, be hardcore, like, at the traffic hearing. Are you serious? Yeah. I did that once when I was younger. And, um, and then when I went to traffic court, he didn't work out any deals for me. Then I was found guilty. So. 
Oh yeah, but I, I but like this is a case that if if you know how to work your magic, I think I think I have enough proof and evidence to like this is a this is an easy win for any lawyer that takes this case. To be honest. Can I ask you really quick what he charged her with? Um. Yeah. Well, they gave us they gave us uh six cite five or six citations, um, and she has one. Five. Five. We have Wait, six, seven, because they gave us two more. So we have seven traffic um, citations, um, all unlawful because we were operating in a private capacity. So they, they they don't even have jurisdiction over us. And like we, we're doing our own research on the laws, and they didn't even have jurisdiction from the beginning of the stop. So I think this is a, like, and we already have um, UCC codes pertaining to the trap, pertaining to... Yes, because this is a commercial. Anything traffic is commercial. So. Driving, what kind of car were you in? Uh, uh, Buick. Are you guys saying you're sovereign citizens? No, there, there was another uh, lawyer that assumed the same thing. Now, we're, we're far from sovereign citizens, but we do operate in our private capacity. And um, we, we, yeah, we have the right to travel under uh, common law, law of the land. And the con- I'm sorry. And the con- I'm, 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 so, I'm terribly sorry. Um, I've been a criminal defense lawyer for like 20, 23 years. Um, I've heard this before and, you know, I'm not new. Um, I'm sorry, I'm going to decline to represent you guys. Well, now you can see one reason why a lot of these soft tards go pro se in uh, court. A good lawyer will not represent them. Uh, that's just a plain old fact of the matter from what you can see here. And, well, who could blame them? I mean, they got no legal standing whatsoever, and it would be such a waste of time for the lawyer anyway because the soft heart is just going to flood them with all sorts of uh, pseudo-legalese that the lawyer just doesn't have time to deal with. But at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?